Monitoring and coordinate coordination functions for many of the activities under the Comprehensive National Cyber Initiative, a national program to increase the nation's cybersecurity posture and capabilities. Uh, Rick, go ahead. Thank you. Volume up? Okay. Here go. okay. Excellent. So, as the gentleman said, I am uh, Rick Harris. I'm not Randy Vickers. I'm the head of uh, Future Operations, uh, the planning component of the U.S. CERT. It's interesting because the U.S. CERT actually doesn't have a division or a branch that's responsible for planning. So it's kind of me and whatever resources I can pull together. But what's uh, significant about my role in the U.S. CERT, I'll give you a little background on myself minutes, but is that U.S. CERT is now addressing kind of the future look. What, what do we want to look like two, three, four years from now? In what ways can we better uh, support our constituents and contribute to overall cybersecurity across the nation and indeed globally? So I appreciate uh, being here, even though it was relatively short notice, uh, which is okay. And I'm actually uh, waiting for a phone call. My son is in the Marine Corps and he's going to Afghanistan perhaps today. So I have my cell phone on, but I won't interrupt this for that. I'll talk to you later. Um, also, I'm glad to be here because I had like three tasks this weekend. Uh, the first one was to fix the doorbell, the front door doorbell that broke. <laughs> the second one was to fix the front door hardware, the door handle broke as well. I failed miserably in both of those tasks before I came here. So hopefully this won't be as big a disaster as those honeydews were. Uh, but what I'm here to, to do today is just talk to you a little bit about U.S. CERT, kind of what we look like, what we're doing, how we're supporting the community, and talk a little bit uh, about some of the initiatives that uh, we're either a part of or leading to help cybersecurity in general. Um, another point I would like to make uh, is U.S. CERT is an important organization. I think so because I belong to it. Uh, but more than that, it's just part of a team. A uh, national cybersecurity division is our higher headquarters, and they can they contain programs in that organization that uh, if they didn't have those programs, U.S. CERT wouldn't be able to do its job. So we have internal partnerships that are really key to us, as well as external partnerships, and I think that's where this organization falls into. And uh, look forward to working with you all in the future. Okay, excellent. This thing actually works. Okay, this is to give you an idea of where we sit in the uh, organizational hierarchy. Um, we're in the big box, down in the middle. Uh, I'll explain a little bit about the uh, Secretary of Homeland Security, uh, Jennifer Politano, everybody knows her. Under Secretary for National Protection and Programs, uh, division is uh, Under Secretary Rand Beers, and most of you know his Deputy Under Secretary, uh, Phil Reichter. Uh, Assistant Secretary for Cybersecurity and Communications is Greg Schaefer. I don't know which one of these I pointed them both just to give equal play to both sides. Uh, Greg Schaefer is the Assistant Secretary, uh, and Rear Admiral Mike Brown is the uh, Deputy Assistant Secretary for Cybersecurity and Communications. Although uh, Rear Admiral Brown will soon be moving to uh, uh, up to NSA, well, he, where he'll be the senior DHS representative. For cybersecurity at uh, uh, at NSA, um, really, and I'll talk about this a little bit later. There's an MOU between DOD and DHS that's a uh, relationship. Uh, next to there is the director of the National Cybersecurity Communications Integration Center. Many of you have probably heard of that organization. Uh, it was pretty much its roles and functions have pretty much been established by the National Cyber Institute. Response Plan, which is a, uh, a document intended to unify and coordinate nationwide responses to cyber incidents. Uh, Sean McGurk is right now the acting director of that organization. Uh, and then we get down to uh, the director of National Cyber Security Division, Roberta Stempley. Many of you are familiar with her. I think Nicole Dean is her deputy. And uh, within National Cyber Security Division, we have the Director of Network Security Deployment. Uh, Mike Kern currently is the head of that outfit. I think he's, he's retiring or leaving soon. But 
National uh, Security and Deployment folks, they're the ones responsible for deploying sensors, our Einstein sensors, out across government, as well as uh, acquiring uh, and meeting our requirements for analytic tools and basically supporting the infrastructure the U.S. CERB operates with. Uh, the Director of Federal Network Security, that's Matt Coos. Uh, Federal Network Security, they have a really important job, and, and we are at U.S. CERB developing a really close partnership with those folks. As most of you know, uh, FNS is responsible for the Trusted Internet Connection uh, Program, uh, cybersecurity compliance, and cybersecurity compliance type activities. Over here, uh, the Director of Local Cybersecurity Management. Uh, what, excuse me. what those folks do, they have uh, education programs, they have a supply chain risk management program, uh, and they also have software assurance, and there are research and development coordinators that establish cybersecurity research and development requirements for NCSD that go up to DHS science and technology and hopefully if funding is available or met at some point in time. Uh, the last one before we get into U.S. sir, and I'd like to, if there are any questions, just raise your hand or speak up anytime during this presentation. Uh, okay, sir? Can you tell me more about global cybersecurity management? I've never even heard anything about it. Yeah, GCSN, well it's a relatively new organization. I started up within the National Cybersecurity Division about a year and a half ago. And uh, it was initially kind of a, uh, a place where we could try to leverage some programs that are related to the Comprehensive National Cyber Initiative. For instance, uh, National Cybersecurity Division had an education program prior to the Comprehensive National Cyber Initiative. Uh, but when that came around, it got more emphasis, more funding. And so we moved it from out, out from under uh, the last organization there, our critical infrastructure section, into a uh, separate section. And the same applies for supply chain risk management, which is also a CNCI um, program. And uh, R&D moved as well, because um, there are two different R&D initiatives that are part of CNCI. So it is a relatively new organization, and those programs moved into that organization to give it more emphasis, give those programs more Okay, that's your question. Okay. Um, and then the uh, critical infrastructure folks here, uh, they're responsible for all of the infrastructure, kind of the mechanisms and roles and responsibilities under the National Infrastructure Protection Plan. So they work very closely with the Office of Infrastructure Protection and uh, try to integrate this. I'll have a slide later with critical infrastructure and key resources pieces, but uh, integrate cyber across the board, across critical infrastructure key resources. Additionally, uh, in that section, they have the uh, international programs, which we are a big part of, as you know, Randy Rickers, you can see. Last week he was in Australia, now he's in South Korea, and later this week he'll be in India. So we are very active in our international program efforts. And uh, also, those of you who've heard of Cyberstorm 3, an exercise we had in September of the Cyberstorm series of exercises, that is coordinated out of this section as well. Okay, and then we have U.S. CERB, which I'll tell you about in later slides. Any questions on that? Okay. Uh, one thing, a little bit about me. I, I've been with National Cyber Security Division for uh, six years. Three of those years uh, after I retired from the Marine Corps in 2004, and three of those years I spent in the National Cybersecurity Division basically helping build that uh, organization up. Three years ago I transitioned to U.S. CERT, and I made up my job, which was to be the Director of Future Operations, and, uh, and Jerry Dixon was kind enough to buy my line and actually give me something that I wanted to do. Uh, but then very shortly after that I was detailed to the